The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. We're now going to look at another laser, the argon laser. It's much more powerful than a helium-neon laser. In fact, it can put out several watts and even several tens of watts, principally in the blue, in the green, and also in the ultraviolet. In this first demonstration, we're going to take the output of this argon laser here, and without focusing it, we're going to send it onto a piece of cardboard. And we want to show you what happens. Now here you see the argon laser puts out about two watts or so in the, in the blue and green. The blue is around 4880 angstroms, the green is around 5145, and other weaker wavelengths, both in the visible and also in the ultraviolet. You can't see very much of the laser, so what we're going to do is take the top off so you can get a closer look at what's inside this laser. Here is the argon laser without the top on. Certainly looks very complicated, but I'll try and help you along by identifying some of the important features in the laser. And we'll do this in, in close-up. So first, let's zoom in to the left side of the, of the laser, where we see the mirror mount that holds one of the laser mirrors. So the mirror, mount, the mirror is, is held down there. And then the air path between the mirror and the discharge tube is sealed with bellows over here. And here is then the beginning of the discharge tube. Here you see the cathode, the big cathode for this, uh, for this laser. The bore of the tube is inside this, this magnet, so you can't see it. And then there is this, uh, this magnet here to, that provides a longitudinal magnetic field. So here is the, the magnet. And then the anode is located, located over here. Now, because this is a, a powerful arc discharge, both the bore and the magnet are water-cooled. Over here, you see that the discharge tube is terminated with a window at Brewster's angle. And finally, the second mirror is mounted in this, in this holder over here. Now we're going to turn the power on and, and look at the output. Now the argon laser puts out a lot of power, as I said, around one or two watts from this laser. And one thing you don't want to do is get in the way of the beam. Now here we see a piece of cardboard that's unlucky enough to be in the way of even an unfocused beam. So if we turn up the power in the argon laser, you see what happens. You see nice hole burnt in and, and, and lots of smoke comes out. And this is, remember, this is the unfocused beam. We have about one watt of power. And here's the hole we just burnt in the piece of cardboard. Looks pretty bad. And remember, this is the unfocused argon beam. 